Now, am I, am I the only one that sees this? Am I the only one that's bothered by this? Good morning YouTube, this is Cruise Man. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. If you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing or just love motorcycles in general, you're in the right place. It's been a while since I've done a motor vlog. It's good to get back into the bike, back into the swing of things. I'm just leaving my morning coffee. And for those of you who watched my last motor vlog, you know that uh, I had the bike torn apart for almost a week. I've been working on a lot of new videos for the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. And uh, basically had the bike uh, in quite a few pieces. And as I mentioned in my last video, which was kind of done in the middle of my tear down you might say I mentioned how as I work on this motorcycle more and more and this is probably maybe the fifth time I've uh, you know removed the top shelter and removed a lot of these different body parts it just continues to really impress me and amaze me at how well this motorcycle has been engineered now that that doesn't mean it's not without frustration. It can be a pain in the butt to work on sometimes. But I have to uh, hand it to the Honda engineers and designers because I just still cannot figure out how they get all these little pieces to just kind of snap together and fit as well as they do. It really is uh, a marvel of engineering when you look at it so the bike is as you can see the bike is all back together now and I am happy to announce there were no leftover fasteners in my muffin tin when I was finished every fastener got used most of them probably in the correct place But it went uh, pretty well. And I think those of you that currently have the uh, Goldwing maintenance videos for the 2018 Plus are going to be very pleased with the new videos that will be coming your way soon. And as you know, if you already own the videos, you'll get these new videos uh, at no charge. Those come to you free. And I, I guess I'll go ahead and mention, go ahead and get my shameless plug out of the way. Our fall promotion is over tomorrow night. It ends at midnight. So if you haven't gotten your videos yet, now's the time because the new videos will re that I just shot will be released in October, probably toward the end of October. And when we add these new videos to the series, there'll probably be at least eight new videos. Uh, the price of the videos will be going up. So now's the time to buy at the legacy price. And if you buy before midnight tomorrow night, you can save 20% off that price. Now, I mentioned in my last video, my last couple of videos about this uh, special we had with traction dynamics for the dipstick extenders and I'm sorry to tell you that those are all gone uh, the first 20 people that ordered on the fall promotion got the dipstick extender and uh, I just don't want you to think if you order tomorrow you're going to get that because those went in the first maybe four days of the promotion those went very quickly so for those of you who did order uh, in the first 20 you will be receiving your dipstick extenders uh, pretty soon for the rest of you that uh, placed an order uh, after the first 20 
Uh, we'll stick we'll, we'll stick something else, a little surprise in the mail for you from Cruise Maze Garage, just so you don't feel completely left out. So anyway, let's talk about my new high-speed internet service that I just got installed yesterday. I was using, and the reason I'm telling you the story is because I'm going to have a little bit of a rant here. Something that some of you will appreciate. But I was using Spectrum for my internet service, which is also Time Warner Cable. And I think when I signed up for it, it was like 45 bucks a month or $42 a month for the first two years. And the service has just gotten worse and worse over the last couple of years. And my original contract was up anyway. And of course they jack it up to like $69 a month is what I was paying. So I decided to go back to Frontier, which offers uh, the fiber optic internet in my area. It's called Fios. And they were offering a deal for $39.99 a month for the first two years. You know how these guys are. They offer these two-year things to get new customers. Well, they were offering 500 upload, 500 download for $39.99 a month. Now, that's pretty fast. That's amazing. In fact, they used to only offer it for commercial customers, and they just started offering it to residential. So I went ahead and ordered the Fios and it was installed yesterday and of course uh, the $39.99 a month is deceptive like all of these offers from whether it's a cell phone company or any kind of technology now it's just I'm just so used to it everything's deceptive I know when they say $39.99 a month I know it's a lie and come to find out when you sign up you're required to pay a $10 equipment fee per month for their router. Okay. So it's $49.99 a month, not $39.99 a month. And it's a deceptive trade practice, but since we have no consumer protection through our government, Unless you file a class action lawsuit and get a couple thousand people together and get a, a law firm to take it, well, what are you going to do? You know, they're just they're just going to keep getting away with this crap. But that's okay. I was okay with the $49.99 a month. I'd have paid the $49.99 a month if they had just advertised it as $49.99 a month. They didn't have to mislead me to get me to take the offer. But they did, and that's okay. So. As it turns out, I didn't even need their stupid router for $10 a month. When the installer came to the house, I already have a router better than the one they have. So I didn't. I'm, I'm paying $10 a month for something I don't even use. But I do now have this 500-500 uh, 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 internet service. And I ran some speed tests, and it, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's getting about close to 500 download, and I'd say about 450 upload. Of course, that varies throughout the day, depending on traffic and everything else. But the last time I uploaded a video to YouTube for my last motovlog, it took two hours and 45 minutes to upload. And I ran a, this was when I was with Spectrum. I ran a speed test and I was getting less than 2 megabits per second. Not 200, 2. I mean it was just ridiculous. And that's why I had to make the switch because of my YouTube channel. Uh, my upload speeds with uh, Spectrum were just terrible. It just was taking too long to upload videos. The only reason I bring up the story about my Fios experience is to kind of talk about this whole notion of why these companies feel it's necessary to use deceptive trade practices to get new customers. And, and again, am I the only one? Am I the only one that this bothers? If this kind of stuff bothers you, I want you to put it in the comments down below because I know I'm not the only one that knows this. And it doesn't matter if it's DISH or DirecTV 
they offer you this incredible deal to get you for two years and then they start jacking up the price at the end when your contract expires and from then on they do nothing to try to keep you as a customer even though you're a good paying customer a loyal customer it doesn't matter they'll spend millions of dollars to get a new customer at 69 or 89 dollars a month but they'll keep charging you hundred and thirty dollars a month and they won't even offer you that same deal even if you sign a new contract sometimes they're not going to offer it to you I don't understand it I don't understand why they don't want to do anything to take care of their existing customer base it's why I left Frontier and went to Spectrum in the first place I mean, we were up to a point where we were paying like $250 a month to Frontier. I mean, it was just outrageous. And when I called them and told them I'm going to switch to Spectrum, they didn't care. And so, again, this gets back to my, I've talked about this before, that these companies, a lot of companies are run by stupid people. This is stupidity. This isn't even, this is not smart business. Why would you spend all this money to acquire new customers only to lose a good existing customer that you know has a good pay history? Now I can understand if it's a deadbeat and he's not paying his bills. Maybe you'd just soon be rid of him. But if you've got a good customer that pays on time, it doesn't cost you anything to keep that customer. You don't have to spend any money on advertising. You just basically treat people the way they want to be treated. Now, am I, am I the only one that sees this? Am I the only one that's bothered by this? And it's everywhere you look. It's every, it's Dish TV, it's Direct TV, it's Spectrum or TWC or whoever you're using. I don't care who the internet provider is or TV provider or anything. So, we're getting ready to drop DISH. You know, when I started with DISH two and a half years ago, I was paying like $89 a month. And it was a good deal, and I had HBO. Now I don't have HBO, and I'm paying $128 a month. And of all these channels that we have, we don't have any premium channels. This is just the base fee, $128 a month. And we only watch about seven channels, maybe. We watch the local channels. Of course, we watch a lot of Netflix, which we pay extra for. So we're cutting the cord. We're going to streaming, and we're going to try YouTube TV for $50 a month. Because for $50 a month, YouTube TV has all the channels that we watch and more. There's channels that we don't, even, you know, that they have that we don't even watch. So why pay $125 a month when I can get everything we need for $50 a month? And you know, another classic example of somebody who does this crap is XM Radio, Sirius XM. Same thing, they sign you up for five bucks a month. And honestly, that's all it's worth to me. It's only worth $5 a month to me for Sirius XM because the only time I listen to it is when I'm on the bike on a road trip. I don't even listen to it when I'm in town. I listen to local AM radio, but when I'm on the road, on a road trip, I like to listen to Sirius XM. And it's worth five bucks a month, and I signed up for their one-year deal for five bucks a month, which you would think would be sixty dollars a month, but as you can imagine, it was really like eighty-two dollars a month because of all the taxes and crap they can get away with not putting in there. They, they never tell you about the taxes and the fees. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. Uh, but right now I'm happy for the next two years I'll have my hopefully my 500 500 unless they start throttling it back at some point like Spectrum did and if I can keep these or even close to these speeds I'm okay I just don't like the deceptive trade practice because I don't think it's necessary so that's my rant for the day Bike's running great. It's all back together. I don't see tearing it down for some time. 
I uh, got some cool new stuff I'll be reviewing in the future. Oh, I wanted to let you know, I forgot to almost, almost forgot to mention this. SoCal Moto Gear now has the cow lights for the 2018 Plus Goldwing, which I've shown you in the past, and they now make them in a flat black. In addition to the chrome, you can order them in chrome or flat black, and I actually put the flat black on mine yesterday, and I love it. I think I just think it matches the look of the bike better. I'm not a big chrome guy anyway, but uh, some of you love the chrome, and that's fine. But you can now order the cowl lights in flat black, and I gotta tell you, these cowl lights are one of the best accessories I've added to the bike. They are super bright. I, I mean, they really are bright, and they even give you a little bit of light, you know, in front of the bike as you're going down the road at night. But they're very visible to oncoming traffic, and they have the sequential turn signals built in. And you know, I'm always a big believer in the more light you can have on a bike, the better. So check those out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out our Facebook page at Cruise Man's Garage. Thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Motovlog.